bright duty every student matters so by the end of this class we'll make sure that we know how to add and subtract all kinds of fractions so it comprises of like fractions unlike fractions okay so let us begin with this lesson Here, we have learned how to add and subtract like fractions. It is also very difficult to add fractions that do not have same denominators. When we have to add or subtract fractions, we find firstly their equivalent fractions with the same denominators and then we proceed. Okay, so simple method that if suppose you have got a fraction say it is a like fraction so say it is 1 over 8 and to it we were supposed to add 2 over 8 so this was really simple to add I hope you remember we simply used to add the numerator so it will be 3 over 8 this is how we worked with the like fractions and I'm just talking about the addition for now if you subtract you just take care that the bigger numerator take away the smaller numerator over the denominator you do now they are saying that if suppose you are working with the addition or subtraction of the fractions where you have you don't have the same denominator so we are basically working with unlike fractions okay then uh, here uh, what we see that they are saying that if you are adding or subtracting the fractions that are unlike what you do you convert the given denominator into the same denominator by working the equivalent fractions. I hope you do remember the lesson of equivalent fractions. Now, here we are given an example. It says add 1 over 5 and what added to 1 over 5 gives 1 over 2. Now, first thing very important here is that we understand the question. What is this question saying and what are we supposed to do? Do you think it's a question of addition? Do you think it's a question of subtraction? What do you think? It says what should be added to 1 over 5 to give 1 over 2. I'll just write it here mathematically. Say what should be added to 1 over 5 so that we get 1 over 2. So I have just put the question mark for that particular thing that needs to be added to 1 over 5 so that what we get is 1 over 2. Say for example, if I'm saying that a number added to 3 gives the answer 1. Okay, I'm sorry, not 1. Gives the answer 5. Okay, so how will you get that number? You will do 5, take away 3, so the answer is 2. Is that right? What do we do? We take away 3 from 5 to get the answer 2. Okay, so now we have 1 over 5 and 1 over 2. First thing we can think is, which fraction out of these two is bigger? What do you think? Is 1 over 5 bigger or is it 1 over 2 that is bigger? I hope you remember when we have two fractions which we are going to compare, if the denominators they are different but the numerators they are same. So we look at the denominators and the one which is smaller, the fraction is bigger. So here because 2 is the smaller number compared to 5, so 1 over 2 is the bigger fraction. So what do we need to do? If we work 1 over 2 minus 1 over 5, we will find the answer of this particular number that needs to be added to 1 over 5 to get 1 over 2. Okay, so let us do this. How we are going to solve this? The method in order to solve the addition or subtraction of unlike fractions is that you work with equivalent fractions. So let us find what is equivalent to 1 over 2 and 1 over 5. So let me multiply the numerator and denominator of the numbers such that I get the LCM of 5 and 2. So the LCM is 10 for both of them. So I am going to multiply 2 by 5 in order to get 10. Is that right? And similarly, we do the same with the numerator. Here the answer comes out 5 over 10. For the next one here, if we multiply 5 by 2, we get the answer as 10. And here we get 2. Okay, 
So now let's solve this. So if we do uh, instead of here 1 over 2, now we'll write 5 over 10. Okay, so 5 over 10 minus instead of 1 over 5, we'll write 2 over 10. Okay, so what do we get? We get 3 over 10. So this is that particular number which when added to 1 over 5 gives 1 over 2. Let's do the verification now. Okay. We are going to do the verification now. So here we got the answer 3 over 10. So it is 3 over 10. What were we supposed to do? 5, 1 over 5 we need to add and let's see if we get the answer 1 over 2 or not. Okay. So it is here we have 1 over 5. So let us see. Uh, again in order to add these Unlike terms, we need to make them like. So what we can do, 3 over 10 times it with something. So that at the denominator and 1 over 5 times with something. So that at the denominator, we have got a common term. Right, so at the denominator, the number that we can have is the LCM of 10 and 5. That is 10. So here, now what do we have? 10 times 1. So here it will be 3. And 5 times 2 will give us a 10, so here will be 2, right? So now, instead of 3 over 10 and 5 over 1 over 5, let us write their equivalent fractions, okay? So instead of 3 over 10, now we have 3 over 10 because we have just multiplied by 1 and 1, so the number stays itself. Add into 1 over 5, which we have converted into 2 over 10. So now when we add them, what do we get? We get 5 over 10. These are just like fractions, so we add them directly. Now we have got 5 over 10. Can you simplify 5 over 10? Dividing the numerator and denominator by 5, we get the answer as 1 over 2. And this is what we were supposed to get. Is that right? So we have calculated the value and we have verified the answer as well. Now let us move to the next question. Here it says that subtract 3 over 4 from 5 over 6. So whenever you see the word from, that number comes first. So 5 over 6 and from this we need to take away 3 over 4. Okay. Now again you can see clearly these are unlike fractions and here what we can do, we can first make them like fractions by working their equivalent fractions. Okay. So 5 over 6 or let me just do it here. I'll just do it here. 5 over 6 we need to times it by something and 3 over 4 again we need to times it by something that we get a common denominator. So here what we can do is we can find what is the LCM for 6 and 4. So both of them goes into 2. So here it will be 3, here it will be 2. We cannot further um, like we don't have any common factor between 3 and 2. So it will be 4 and 4 times 3 is 12. So we need to have 12 at the denominators. So 6 times 2 is 12. So we put the same number at the numerator. 4 times 3 is 12. So we put the same number at the numerator. So this gives 10 over 12 and this gives 9 over 12. Clear? Now instead of 5 over 6, we are going to put the equivalent fraction 10 over 12. Okay? So let us do this. So 10 over 12 minus for 3 over 4 we are writing 9 over 12. So it is 9 over 12. Now it's simple. We can subtract 10, take away 9 and the denominator remains itself. So the answer is 1 over 12. I hope this is clear how we have calculated the question of subtracting a given fraction from another given fraction where the fractions were unlike fractions, right? Moving ahead here, we need to add 2 over 5 and 1 over 3. Well, you will notice throughout this lesson, we'll be practicing questions because adding and subtracting unlike fractions is all about practice, okay? So here the question is that we are supposed to add 2 over 5 and uh, 1 over 3, right? So, we are going to first work out their uh, equal fractions. So, 2 over 5 and here, I'm sorry, 
1 over 3. So we need to times them by something so that we get the denominator common. So the LCM between 5 and 3, it is 15. So here, if I multiply 3 by 5, I get 15. So I do the same with the numerator. 5 times 3 gives 15, so I do the same with the numerator. And thus, here we get 6 over 15. And here we got 5 over 15 as the equivalent fractions. So now, instead of 2 over 5, let us write the equivalent fraction. That is 6 over 15. And we need to add this to 1 over 3. Its equivalent fraction is 1 over 5. 15. Now these are like terms. So now uh, like fractions can be simply added by keeping the denominator the same and adding the numerators, right? So this gives answer. Okay, so this is our answer for the given question. Moving ahead to the next question. It says simplify. Simplify means you just need to solve the question. So 3 over 5 and 7 over 20. So 3 over 5 and 7 over 20, let us find what is their equal in fraction. So do you notice that here, whenever we have got unlike fractions, only the step that you need to be careful about is to calculate their equal in fractions. Otherwise, you are good to do the question, right? So now between 5 and 20, we know that the LCM is 20. So here we'll write 20. Here also we'll write 20 at the denominator. Now 5 times what number gives 20? The answer is 4. And 20 times what number gives 20? The answer is 1. Right? So 3 times 4? 12. And 7 times 1 is 7. Now instead of 3 over 5, we'll write its equivalent number. That is 12 over 20. So here we'll have 12 over 20. Take away the equivalent of 7 over 20, we have just multiplied the numerator and denominator by 1. So the number is itself. So here the fraction is 7 over 20 itself. Now, keeping the denominator the same and take away 7 from 12, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it is 5 over 20. Now the question says simplify. So we will solve the question till we can solve it. Here we have got the answer 5 over 20. 5 over 20 can be further solved, right? So let us reduce this fraction 5 over 12 to the simplest form, okay? So now in order to convert a particular fraction to its simplest form, what do we do? We divide it by a same number for the numerator and denominator. Clearly both these numbers are there in 5 times table. So dividing 5 and 20 by 5, so the answer is 1 over 4. So this is the final answer because we cannot simplify it further. I hope this is clear. Moving to the next question. It says add 2 over 5 and 3 over 7. First step is calculate the equivalent fractions so that you convert the given fractions into like fractions, right? So what can I do to get this? So they don't have any um, common factors. So 5 times 7 is 35. So this goes for both the numbers. And what can we multiply by 5 to get 35? It is 7. And here we'll get 5. So here the number is 14 and here the number is 15. Okay. Now it's simple. We need to add them. So 14 over 35 plus 15 over 35 right so adding them together it's 35 and here we have got 14 plus 15 on solving we get 29 over 35 so this is our final answer now we need to subtract every time you read the question of subtraction make sure what number you need to put first so it says subtract 2 over 5 from 5 over 7. So 5 over 7 will come first and then we need to take away 2 over 5 from it. Okay. So again, let's quickly get the equal fractions of these numbers. So it is 5 over 7 and this is 2 over 5. So here again, we need 35 as the denominator. So we need to times 7 by 5. And we need to times 5 by 7 to get to 35. So here the numerator comes 25 and here the numerator comes out to be 14. 
right? So now we can write this instead of 5 over 7, we can write its equivalent number that is 25 over 35. Take away what is 2 over 5? It is 14 over 35. Now keeping the denominator, the number itself and 25 over, we have at the numerator, 25 take away 14. So the answer is at the denominator we have got 35 itself. So here it is 11. So this is the answer. Okay, clear? I'm sure after solving every question, you are understanding the question even better. Now we are at the addition and subtraction of mixed fractions. So as we said, the lesson name is that to add and subtract all kinds of fractions. So I hope you're confident to work with like fractions. You are confident to work with unlike fractions. Now it's time to move to mixed fractions. Okay. Here in this question, let us see how we need to break the mixed fraction in order to add them. It says add 2, 4, 5 and 3, 5 over 6. So the first step is that we break the fraction, the mixed fraction itself. So we can write this as here. This can be written as 2, 4 over 5 plus 3, 5 over 6. Okay, this is the question. Now how I'm writing it, see, 2 plus 4 over 5 plus 3 plus 5 over 6. We have broken the mixed fractions by putting the addition sign in between each of them. Okay, now I can simply add 2 and 3 together. 2 and 3, they can be added together because they are basically representing the whole parts of a particular whatever we are considering and the fraction represents the part of the whole so we are not adding the parts we are just adding the holes together okay so 2 added to 3 gives 5 as the answer now what are we left with we are left with 4 over 5 added to 5 over 6 now you have your answer 5 separate it out and just consider 4 over 5 and 5 over 6 now you're going to add them just like you have added the unlike fractions. So let us quickly get the equivalent fractions of these numbers. So 4 over 5 and here we have got 5 over 6. So we need LCM 30 at the denominator. So times in these numbers by 6 and times in these numbers by 5 will give the denominator 30 in each of the cases. So here 6 times 4 and here we'll do 5 times 5. 24 and here we'll get 25 okay now what we do 5 remains itself so 5 is here itself and here what do we have now is we have 24 plus 25 over 30 I hope this is clear instead of 4 over 5 and 5 over 6 we have 24 over 30 and 25 over 30. So we are just adding 24 and 25 that are the numerators and keeping the denominator the same. Okay. Now what do we get? The 5 stays itself and here we get, if we add them, we get 49 over 30. Okay. 49 over 30. Now what can we do further in this question? Either we can just keep it itself but this doesn't look much need to work with 49 and 30. Do you remember that we learned that 49 and 30, like a given fraction, you can convert it into a mixed fraction. Do you remember how we do that? Let's do it here. I hope you remember that we were supposed to work with equivalent fractions, like I'm sorry, the um, these are the improper fractions. So in order to convert improper fraction to mixed fraction, we use the method of division so 49 comes here here comes 30 right so 30 goes into 49 how many times once so one come here at the question i hope you remember this is the question here it comes 30 and what do we have here is 19 this is the remainder and this is the division so how do we write a mixed fraction first of all we do write the question then here in the fraction, we have remainder at the top and divisor at the bottom, right? So instead of this, let us write it 5 plus 1 plus 
19 over 30. Okay, now what is 5 plus 6? 3, oh, I'm sorry, what is 5 plus 1? It is 6. 6, 19 over 30 is the final answer. Okay, I hope the question um, is clear. However, it is a little big to work with. So let us do one more question similar. I'm sure with practice, we'll understand it better. Okay, so here comes the question. We need to find the difference between the two given mixed fractions. What we just learned, we are going to reapply that knowledge. So starting with breaking down these numbers. So this is basically 4 plus 2 over 5 right minus 2 plus 1 over 5 okay now we are going to separate out the uh, whole part and we are going to separate out the uh, fraction part okay so here what is the whole part it is 4 minus 2 and what do we have as the fraction part we have got Sorry, let me just open up the brackets at first, then we'll do it. So it is 4 plus 2 over 5. And when we open the bracket, this is minus 2. And this becomes minus 1 over 5. Okay, now let's rearrange them. So this becomes 4 minus 2. And here it is plus 2 over 5 minus 1 over 5. I hope this much part is clear. What did we do? Because four, one, four, this first fraction, 4, 2 over 4 is written, 2 over 5 is written as 4 plus 2 over 5. Then we have got the subtraction sign, right? This is a subtraction sign. So we write the subtraction sign as it is. Then 2, 1 over 5 is written as 2 plus 1 over 5. So this is why we have written them in brackets to just separate out that these are the numbers themselves and we have a subtraction sign in between. Okay. Now what we did, we opened up the bracket. Here we have got a minus sign. Just a second. Yeah. So here we got a minus sign and when we open the bracket, because here this is just a 2, so minus and the 2 becomes minus 2 and minus sign and plus sign, I hope you remember, minus and plus becomes minus. So here we get a minus sign. Is that right? Now what do we get? We have here 4 minus 2. So we have separated it out and then here we have got 2 over 5 minus 5, 1 over 5. I hope this much is clear. Now let's do what is 4 take away 2? It is 2. And here clearly we have got in 2 over 5 and 1 over 5, we have got the same denominators, right? So what we do? We simply write what is the difference between the, um, the numerators? It is 1. And the denominator remains itself. Clear? Now it's 2, 1 over 5. It's already in the simple form. So we write it as 2, 1 over 5. So this is the final answer for this, okay? Here, because the fraction parts were already in like fractions, so we didn't work out the equivalent fraction part in this particular question, clear?